Welcome back everyone. For our final topic on routing in Next.js, we will learn about middleware. Middleware in Next.js is a powerful feature that offers a robust way to intercept and control the flow of requests and responses within your applications. And it does this at a global level, significantly enhancing features like redirection, URL rewrites, authentication, headers and cookies management, and more. Let's go back to VS Code and define a middleware in our application. To create middleware in Next.js, start by adding a middleware.js or .ts file in the source folder. Now, middleware allows us to specify paths where it will be active. And there are two main approaches, custom matcher config and conditional statements. We will explore both using redirection as an example. Imagine a scenario where navigating to slash profile should redirect the user to the home page. Here is how we can achieve this. We start by importing next response, which extends the standard response API, and the type next request. We then define a middleware function, export function middleware, that accepts a next request type request. So request of type next request. This function redirects the user to the home page when slash profile is accessed. So return next response dot redirect to the new URL, which is the home page. And the base URL is request.url. The config object, so export const config, specifies a matcher slash profile to which this middleware applies to. Now, when you navigate to slash profile in the browser, it automatically redirects to the home page showcasing the matcher config approach. Now for the second approach, we use conditional statements. We will leave the import statement as it is and comment out rest of the code. Instead, we write an if condition. So if request dot next URL dot path name is equal to slash profile, we return next response dot redirect and this time let's navigate to slash hello to make sure we are using the second approach. Visiting slash profile again redirects to the slash hello route created a few videos earlier. This shows how conditional statements can control middleware responses based on the request path. Apart from handling redirections, middleware also allows URL rewrites, which is a useful tool for legacy URL support or SEO optimization. By changing redirect to rewrite, navigating to slash profile, you can see the URL in the browser stays the same, slash profile, but the response content changes. This is the response from slash hello route. Lastly, let's explore the use of cookies and headers in middleware. We will modify our middleware to handle user preferences for themes and add a custom header for all responses. First, we obtain the response object that we will eventually return from our function. So const response is equal to next response, which we've imported dot next. Then, using the request object, we retrieve the user's theme preference from cookies using request.cookies.get and the name of the cookie is theme. If the theme preference is not found, 
indicating that the user has not set a theme preference yet, we default to a dark theme by setting the response theme cookie to dark. So response.cookies.set. The key is theme and the value is dark. Finally, we ensure that this tailored response is what we send back from our middleware function. Return response. If we now go back to the browser and take a look at cookies in the dev tools, you can see they are empty. If we refresh slash profile, you can see the dark theme cookie being set. If we manually overwrite the value to light, assuming it was changed from the UI, and then refresh, you can see the value is not overwritten to dark and our application remembers the user's preference. Very simple to work with cookies. In middleware, working with headers is also straightforward. Let us set a custom header in the response using response dot headers dot set. Here we add a header named custom header with the value custom value. Open the network tab, refresh the page, and for slash profile, under response headers, we see custom header, custom value. Custom headers are useful for passing additional information in responses, which can be leveraged by client-side scripts or for debugging purposes. As you can see, middleware can be effectively used to manipulate both cookies and headers. In summary, middleware in Next.js allows you to effectively control and intercept the request response cycle, enabling redirects, URL rewrites, and the manipulation of headers and cookies. With that, we complete this first section on routing in Next.js. We've learned a lot, so I want to take a minute to list down all the concepts we have learned. First, we learned how to define routes with pages and layouts. We then learned about dynamic routes and route groups. We followed that with linking and navigation. We then learned how to handle errors in routes. After that, we dived into advanced routing concepts like parallel routes and intercepting routes. We then learned about route handlers, which will help us define RESTful API endpoints. Finally, we learned the role of middleware in routing with Next.js. It took us 44 videos to finish the first section, but I hope you now have a solid understanding of how routing works in Next.js. If you have enjoyed the content so far, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next section.